Uh, hi friends, uh, let's look at a newly appeared problem. Problem 3481. Apply substitutions. Uh, this is actually a, a very interesting uh, problem. So here our plan will be the following. So our plan will be uh, first, so I'm going to write a short solution. So this short solution just use the string uh, replace method. So this uh, solution actually uh, does not uh, reveal us the inner working mechanism for this problem. Uh, secondly, I'm going to write a, a long solution. So this long solution is based on the following component. So one is uh, Keynes algorithm um, for topological sorting. Um, then we use a uh, string replace method. So personally, I uh, I like the second method um, uh, I did de uh, designed because this uh, will help you understand the full logic. So now let's look at the problem statement. So here we have some uh, replacement. Uh, it's a list. Each list element contains uh, a list of lengths two. So basically, you give a key. You give a corresponding replacement string. For example, this means that you replace this part into this ABC. However, this uh, strings and the replacement can be independent for each other. For example, this one. So this one depends on B, right? You cannot just replace C by this part. You need to also replace this um, with this pattern into this ACE. So this is uh, exactly the difficulty point for this problem. So here, overall, the problem set is not very large. If you look at this bullet atom, and look at this bullet uh, atom, right? And uh, actually, if you look at the constraints, so the constraints are nothing but additional assumptions. It gives you suggestive hints on you know a graph type problem, right? So with that said, let's do the coding. Uh, I um, I uh, strongly encourage you to follow up the full video, especially the second solution. So this, the second solution is the one um, that can generally help in improving your coding skill, right? So now let's look at the first version. <clears throat> uh, string replacement. A pure string replacement. In other words, I don't need to care about the details. So this actually can be uh, very, uh, very simple, right? So we can make a map, uh, say for k and v, for k, v, in uh, replacements. So here I change that to be r, just for convenience of typing. So in this, and then we just use a while loop. Well, this, uh, let's see, this percentage cell in uh, the text. So what we are going to do is for k, v in uh, replacement and this is uh, nothing but this uh, this uh, r right so we're going to do is text is text so we're going to replace uh, this pattern i'm going to use f string right so this key and then um, use bracket because it's the f string right replace key by the corresponding value if you can right then you just uh, do return, return the text. So this is the one solution. But this solution actually, I feel it's a little bit uh, cheating, right? So now let's run it. Yeah, it passes the cases. Now let's look at the generic case. Yeah, it passes all the uh, cases. So nonetheless, if you do like this, you didn't uh, go into uh, deeper about the problem logic. So here I want to treat this case because before we replacement we need to replace this b by this right so there's a dependency relation so you can look at the hints right so build a graph and then get the topological sorting so therefore i feel that this problem is a good problem in itself it's also a good problem to practice topological sorting so therefore let's write the second solution uh, for the second solution I'm going to write with some redundancy. The reason is that uh, we want to get all the um, uh, all the details for topological uh, sorting. 
of if you are not very familiar with this Keynes algorithm, you can do a, a Google search or you can use some other search tools to first review it. So this is actually a very classic uh, algorithm. So with that said, let's first do some preparation. So here, let's get the number of keys, right? And then we're going to get the nodes. Um, get, we're going to use this uh, uh, replacement. So we are going to use um, the key as the um, character, like here, and the value like this. So this is for the latter use, because uh, using dictionary is easy to get um, access key value pairs, right? In the O1 term, uh, term complexity. So for key and value in R. So here, this four, actually this is a tuple, right? Because we are using uh, unpacking. So that's typically people write like this. So this is the preparation of nodes. And uh, you know, uh, we need to first build a graph. So let's get this graph will be node set. I'm going to set uh, each node, going to associate it with an uh, empty set first. So for node in nodes. Uh, in order to run the Keynes algorithm, we need to know the in degree. So we're going to do in degree. Uh, this is also a dictionary, so node. So we set the in degree first to be zero, right? Or node in nodes. So once we prepared this, so we can first build the graph. Build the graph and uh, compute the in degree simultaneously. So for this, um, because this length is very small, right? Just uh, at most 10, what we are going to do is just use the for loop for i in range m. And then for uh, we get the node, and the expression is, um, see, let me just write the expression, is r at um, i, right? And then we are going to uh, look at all the other nodes that is not the i, so for g, in range n again. So as long as g does not equal to i, we're going to check if there are some dependencies like uh, given in this example. For example, c depends on b, right? So what we're going to do is this. So we get node, current node and the current expression, so to be rg, right? Then we check if such things happen, right? So what we do is uh, this. So we check the placeholder. So placeholder will be something like this. We have double uh, percentage mark and then the node, right? So <clears throat> if the placeholder uh, in expression bar, so you can think of this placeholder as the uh, corresponding to this one, and this is the B. This is in the expression of C, so C depends on B. Uh, because C depends on B, so we can <coughs> do this. A graph a node append the current node. That's node bar, right? I use node and node bar to distinguish the situation. So in this case, means there is an edge from node pointing to node bar. This means that the in degree of node bar should be incremented um, by one. So let's do something like this. Uh, just uh, like this. That would be great. So now I guess uh, we can first uh, print out this graph. <clears throat> and uh, also the in degree, right? To have a feeling. Um, so set has no attribute. Uh, so here we should add, right? Set add. <clears throat> now let's run. So you are going to see, right? So this one is very special, no dependence. Let's look at example two. Because C depends on B, so C should be a neighbor of B, right? So the in degree for C is one, right? So if you look at the, this case, so D and depends on E and F. So, you know, E has a neighbor D and F has a neighbor D and D have a in degree two, right? So this is this part. I'm going to comment this out. So we finish build the graph and compute the in degree. So now uh, so, uh, we can run the Keynes uh, algorithm. 
uh, for topological sorting. So for this, we first need to get the degree and uh, the, the collections um, deck. So we are going to get this, those nodes that corresponds to in degree zero. So basically, for node, for node, and degree in uh, in degree items, if uh, degree equals uh, zero. So we can also print this out just for some um, visual and, uh, understanding. So if you see this one, both A and B have in degree zero, you get AB. And for this one, C has in degree one, so you only have AB, right? And for this one, D have in degree two, and EF have in degree zeros, right? So with that said, uh, let's do the while loop for uh, Keynes algorithm. So we have, uh, let's use tuple order to store the topologically sorted uh, nodes. And then we have a set called visited to avoid repetition. And then well Q. So let's first get the node as Q pop left, right? Then we are going to check if node not in visited. So what we are going to do? First, we are going to add this top order, append this node. And also we visited add this node, right? Then next time, next thing is to uh, check the neighbor. So for neighbor in graph node, right? So basically what we want to see is that there's a, a directed edge from node to the current neighbor, right? Therefore, the in degree of this neighbor is decremented by one because we have already considered this node, right? So you just consider deleting this word in the practice. So if in degree of this neighbor is zero, add neighbor not in visited. So we are going to enqueue it, queue append this neighbor. So after this while loop, you are going to have a topological order of those nodes. So we can also print out that <coughs> topo order. So let's run it. <laughs> so for the first case, you get A, B. Actually, B, A also fine. And for this one, you get A, B, and then C. And for this, you should get first E, F, and then D. So with that said, we are ready to move forward. So first, we need to replace uh, all those uh, things with uh, <laughs> this placeholder into the pure text replace uh, the strings in um, replacements uh, with um, pure strings, right? Because we have already a top topologically ordered list, so we can actually just do a, a, do a for loops and then to do the replacement. So what we can do is this. So we monitor this uh, nodes, right? Because here the values might contain uh, placeholders with percentage uh, symbols. So here we can do like this. <clears throat> so for uh, i in range uh, n. And uh, so here we get the current node and the s is the one in topological order, right? Top order i. And then the string will be nodes uh, top um, order i, right? So then we are going to check all the press ones because for each node at index i in the topological order, it depends only on the press nodes, right? So that's why you know we can consider for i for g in range i, right? So in this case, so the press node and uh, the press um, s will be I'm gonna copy this one and change it to be g, right? Change this one to be G, and this one to be G. Um, then, if node uh, in graph um, uh, press node, meaning that they have dependency, right? Um, so in this case, we should replace uh, the string with the corresponding patterns corresponding to the press nodes. So what we do is the pattern 
let me specifically write it. You don't need to actually specifically introduce this variable. So press node. And then what we do is we replace s with the corresponding string in the current state of the nodes. So nodes. Um, so we just need to use uh, press s, right? So this way, you are going to get uh, a updated uh, nodes uh, dictionary. So here, let's uh, don't forget this part. Nodes, the nodes, and we're going to use the result string because we have done topological sorting, right? So this node depends only on the press one. Once you finish this for loop, so then you do the update for the uh, replace string s. Then the s will contain no percentage cell or placeholders. So we can print out this. So nodes, mm, items, right? Let's see. Uh, replaced and uh, got one. So here, let's see, run, replace this one. Uh, S replace uh, this pattern, right? So let's run it. Yeah, example one is so nothing to look. But if you look at example two, so C is all corresponding to a pure string. So similar in case three, so you have E and F here. So it corresponds to pure strings. So that's, that's done. So we are ready to uh, finish our coding and do the return. Do the return. So for this, will be since will be straightforward. So we get a result that is uh, text. And then for node in tuple order, right? We do using this order. Then result, so we can replace with the pattern. Let's see, the pattern will be percentage cell, percentage cell, then the node. And then we are going to return, uh, replace with nodes and node, right? Then we just need to return uh, the result. Um, that actually forms a full solution to the problem. Now let's first run it. Yeah, it passes the three test cases. Now let's look at the generic case. Yeah, it passes all the generic cases. So I guess um, that's about it for the coding part. Now let me make two comments. First, the two solutions, uh, if you compare the length, the first one is shorter, right, for sure. However, if, if you do first one, you only do the first one, you didn't get into the details of the problem. Well, the second comment is that for this solution, uh, we encourage you to follow up the full video and look at version V2. So in this version, we use the Keynes algorithm. We first replaced uh, the key and the replacement so that the replacement have all pure strings. Then we do the replacement. So this uh, is done by way of Keynes topological sorting algorithm. So that's the second comment. With that said, I guess mm, that's about it for the current video. If you find the explanation here useful, you're welcome to practice uh, using our um, YouTube channel. And, and it's, it's in particular, there are some playlist in the channel. Uh, you can practice by playlist. And so this will help you uh, know the general logic of each type of problems. So thank you for watching.